Hello, today I'm here with a new video and it's a first impression today as well. I have to stop doing this and today I'm testing out a new brand for me. I'm testing out a Swedish brand that is called Nivine Cosmetics. I don't know how to hold this. So I have a highlight palette and one lipstick and one liquid lipsticks. And you maybe see that's what's missing from my face, my highlighter and my lipstick. So I am going to test these. I don't know if I'm going to test both of these lip products. I think we will start with one. And if it doesn't suit me, we will take the other one. But the highlight palette, it's called Starlight Fantasy. And this with the studio lighting. It fucks up the lights a little bit. Uh, Nivine Cosmetics is a Swedish brand and it's based in Gothenburg. So they do not test on animals, but I don't know if this is vegan or not. And I have wanted to try things from this brand for a while. But I have never done it and now they had a sale. Uh, and this was on half the price I think, so I bought it comes with a pretty thick and heavy box. I can maybe put it here. Okay, maybe not even can see it. And the palette looks the same as the box and the colors are super huge and look like this. The settings on my camera if I just like this, they are good, but when I put something up, this steal all the light. Um, so this is the palette. I maybe can hold it in front of my face. And it's four very, very big highlighters. I think this one is going to be too dark for me. I think you can take this out. It looks like this because it's a little hole. But I can't get it up. So I can swatch them all on my arm. They feel a little bit dry. Okay, which did I use for which finger? They feel a little bit dry, but they are not chunky or anything. I don't think you can see a thing. Uh, I put up a picture of them because it's really hard to get the highlights on the camera but but they look really good and this gray one does not look this intimidating on the skin as it does in the pan so that is good okay so i will take the one with a little bit of pink and that is secret love and i will take my linda halberg brush 306 and it comes a lot to the brush, so we will see how this go. Okay, it's... I don't know if you can see this even. Because now it looks pretty light in the camera. Okay, it's very pigmented and it's... But it's easy to blend out. Okay, it's got very, very, very much pigment. And you are able to blend it out because I had a little too much. I don't know if this is a highlighter for me, this color. Because I really don't like when it is too much. And this is very, very pink. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm not a super, super, a super big fan of glittery highlighters. And this is, this is very, very much. I think I took too much on my brush because this side is a little bit better than this one. If you like Heavy highlight, I think this is for you. I don't like this heavy of an highlight because 
when I tilt my head like this, I don't know if you can see it, it's pink is really really showing and I don't like this in a highlighter I want my highlighter to be more like a glow but if you like this kind or match different colors this is totally for you but it's nothing for me but I will try to put some setting spray on and see if it fades a little bit And I will take my dewy finish from NYX. Okay, so that helped a little bit. It sank into the skin a little bit more. So now I like it more, now it's not, it doesn't look so dry anymore and chunky and large and now it's more like a sheen maybe. I think it's a little bit hard to see when I only have studio lights with my highlighter because I like it to look in the natural lighting but yeah I think. This one it's too much but on this one it's better and I think I can like it. It's not my normal thing for highlight but if you like this kind of highlighter it's a good highlight. It's my first impression of it. It's super... I don't know what to call it if it's duochrome I don't know. But if you like much and you like chunky and you like when it's colorful, this is totally for you. Yo. Yo. So this is the pink one and it was Secret Love, I think. Yes, maybe Silver Fox is maybe more for me. I like my highlighters to be either goldy or silvery, but not... not and maybe a little champagne but not like blue or green or pink but like for a really yeah I don't know I'm not in love with it it's a good highlighter but it's not my preference if we say it like that so we leave it like that it's a good highlighter but it's not my preference when it comes to highlighter so over to the lips. The I bought one matte liquid lipstick in the color Romantic Date and one lipstick from their Empress collection. It's a cream lipstick in the color Anna. And what I have heard about these, it's that people love them, uh, especially this bullet lipstick. And I like the packaging. You press it and then the lipstick comes out. The only thing is, I think it's very very big but I think it, it get a luxury feeling to it when it look like this. So this is the color Anna but I think we will try the romantic date first or maybe we should try both. Yeah we can do that. So we start with Anna because this is a cream. So we take it out and looks like this and it doesn't smell anything I don't think this will go with my eye look it's really really creamy and it's really nice to have on the lips I like it, it feels, it feels good it feels a little bit moisturizing and yeah I don't think that it will stay on for super long because it is so creamy but it was easy to apply it feels good and I like the color but uh, not with this eye look so I will take this away and we will try the other one okay the lips are bare again and we will try this romantic date and this is so much lighter than I thought it would be. I googled some swatches and it doesn't look like this. So 
we will see. This doesn't smell either and it's a little doofus applicator. Okay, I pray to the gods. This is not going to be... Like foundation lips because I hate that. It's very very dry. I don't like liquid lipsticks when they are dry at first because the, I think they are harder to work with. So I like it when they are because this dries down like immediately. I it's not my favorite. I don't like that. So it's almost kind of moussey and this was a really cold color and it's not so opaque. I It feels like my lips are shining through a little bit and in the viewfinder it looks awful. And in real life it doesn't look good. I think these bright colors, they wash me out completely. My whole face looks not good at all. And it's it's super dry and if I do like this with my lips I see they get stuck and I hate it and my teeth look super yellow so I'm not happy about this I'm not liking the formula I don't like the color so the lipstick was good this is not for me because I I can stand this like glue lips. I don't know how often I do that in a day like this. But I hate it when it does like this. So this is not for me. The color is not good. The formula is... It's matte but it's like sticky and more like glue and I feel now that my lips feels dry. So this is not for me the bullet lipstick I liked. This I don't like at all. So I'm not going to use this anymore I think. But um, the highlight palette, palette maybe not for me either because this is very very much and I am not into this. But it's a good highlighter so if you love much highlighter this is for you and the bullet lipstick was very comfortable on the lips and it was very easy to put on and it was opaque in one layer and that I like and the packaging looks awesome so yeah I have to try this out more maybe this can be my new highlighter thing I don't know so I will leave the links to Nivine Cosmetics down in the description box and I will go and wash off this lip because no, 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 no. So I hope you liked this video and if you do please subscribe and also press like so I know and I will see you in the next one. Bye!